portfolio board. In this video, we'll cover how to use the mood board magic tools. We're gonna to look at the magic wand, how to arrange, how to duplicate. We're gonna show you how to crop, add things to your library, edit text, edit swatches, and best of all, the super transform. Let's get started. So once you have something in your board, this little toolbar is always gonna pop up, right? And we wanna make sure that everyone knows exactly how to make the most of these tools. So let's bring something in. Let's pick a chair for this board. Now, when you bring something in, pretty much the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get rid of that white background. We can't have this chair taking up all the space, right? So go to this plus and minus, that's your magic wand tool. It is the best thing in board. Hit that plus, and now your chair is ready to be situated and play much more nicely with the other furniture in the board. Let's see, maybe the chair is still a little in the way and we would like to move it behind the table. I'm gonna open up my layers, hit this arrow down. That chair, you'll see it jumped behind the table. So it's here, now it's here. And that just means that over here in the layer toolbar, that layer is now underneath the table. Let's first give him a mate. We're gonna move that guy over. And now we're gonna mirror. So you see what we did? We duplicated the chair, and then we hit this mirror tool to flip it. Pretty simple. Now we're gonna use that down button again to get that chair back behind the table, right? So let's put him down here. Let's scooch him in a bit so he's not taking up too much space. And now you see that we've created like a very symmetrical vignette with just a few really quick and easy tools. Another really important tool on that toolbar is gonna to be your crop tool. So if we turn on something I've pulled in here, so I pulled in some marble, right, to give us that kind of kitcheny feel. But obviously this marble's way too big for my image. So I'm going to select the crop tool, it's this one. And you see that your, your selections, they change. So if they're circles, that's gonna allow you to size it but if they're changed to squares, that means you're in crop. So let's crop this in. See, crop works differently than sizing, right? You're actually cropping the image. You can crop in any shape that you want. Here, we're gonna pull this in, get it up here, make it maybe feel like a little bit of a kitchen island. Okay, there you go, that's the crop tool. Now, once you have something in here that you know you, you're loving, maybe even you want for another project, the next tool on the Magic Toolbar is to add it to your library. So every time you, you select a product, you're gonna get these kind of pop-ups. It tells you where it's from, right? But here, we love this chair so much, we're gonna hit this library button, add to library. Now you see it swooped over here and then you could move it into whatever category you might want that chair to live in. And then you know that you can always go back to this library and that chair is there, so you can use it for future projects. All right, let's talk about text. Again, we're on the magic toolbar, so anything that you already have on your board is gonna get edited here. This may be where you add text the first time, but this is where you're gonna edit it. So you hit that text button, and it allows you to get into your text box and do whatever you might need to do. Maybe you're changing the font, maybe you're making it you can do all of that here so you can really play with whatever 
graphics you wanna play with, and then you can also always adjust the size, okay? The last thing on the, the toolbar is this little swatch tool. So you'll see that light up if you are selecting a swatch. So here we have a swatch that we put down. We chose this gorgeous purple because it works really well with this um, little veggie spread, but maybe we're changing our mind here. So rather than go back to the original swatch maker, we're gonna edit down here, okay? So if you hit that swatch, you're gonna get where you started, which is really nice. You're not starting from scratch. And then you can go in and edit. You can go crazy and change it completely. Um, but maybe what this is really useful for I'm gonna actually undo that. Maybe you just wanna edit a little. So it's a great place where maybe if you just wanna make a tweak to that purple, you know, because you're starting where you already were, you have all these ways to just kind of barely tweak it, and get it to something that you want it to be. So let's talk a little bit about these selection tools. Um, you see every time that we select something in board, these kind of, um, this square with the circles pops up. That's really important. This is a super selection. It's, it's pretty smart. Um, if you hit the top piece, it allows you to rotate. That's pretty straightforward. Um, but also what's interesting is, depending on where you select, how it will grow. So if I'm choosing this bottom corner, it's gonna get bigger from there. Now the reason that's super useful is because when you are aligning things in your board, you may already have an idea of where you want something to be and you don't wanna grow out of that area. So I brought in a range here or a, a cooktop. Um, so let's say that we know that we kinda of want this to fit in this area, right? So we can go ahead and like align it to our swatch and then we can use this grip to size it into place. It's much easier than shrinking the whole thing and then having to move it back. So it's just a way of helping you move more smoothly with more control of the things on your board. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other how-to videos.